Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about Docker Hub. So what is Docker Hub? So Docker Hub is a service provided by Docker for finding and sharing your container images with your teams or with the general public. So as you can see, I'm on this website, which is hub.docker.com. And here I can sign in. At the time of uh, downloading the Docker on your operating system, you might have created uh, a Docker ID for you and the password for you. So you can log in with that Docker ID and password. So once you are signed in with your Docker ID and password, you will be able to see this kind of uh, web page here. You have this explore option where you can explore all the other repositories. You have this repository option and under this repository option, you will be able to see and manage your repositories, which you have created and which you have pushed into your Docker registry here. You also have the option for organization, which we are not going to cover in this video. And also you have all these general uh, account related uh, stuff here, right? Now let's talk about the pricing a little bit. So you can see uh, for public repository, Docker Hub is absolutely free and that's what we are going to uh, be using. But if you are working in an organization or you want to create some private uh, repositories for your uh, Docker images, then you can uh, choose one of these options which are provided here. Also, it's not necessary that you need to use Docker Hub as a Docker registry. You can uh, create a Docker registry. You have uh, this documentation which you can use to create a Docker registry. I know uh, Google Cloud provide a Docker registry or GitHub uh, nowadays also provide these kind of Docker registries. So you can create your own registry if you want. You don't need Docker Hub for uh, just managing your images, right? So right now you can see I don't have any image on my Docker Hub uh, account. So to start with, I have this very simple uh, Docker file, which I want to convert to uh, the Docker image. And then I want to push that image to my Docker Hub registry. So let me list all the Docker images on my uh, operating system. Right now I don't have any uh, image. So let's uh, build one image. So I'm going to just write uh, sudo docker build dot hyphen t and the name of the image. I'm going to just name my image as hello and then press enter, which is going to just uh, create this image. I have this hello world image, which is created five seconds ago, right? So now let me just also quickly uh, run this image to see everything is working. So I'm going to once again write uh, sudo docker run hyphen hyphen rm hyphen it and the name of the image, which is hello, and then press enter and it prints uh, the content of my uh, main.cpp that's what it's doing so that's a very basic minimal image the size is very small that's why i have done this and once you have all these images let me just clear the terminal and then let me just move this terminal a little bit up and let's just uh, list all the images once again so now i have this image hello and i want to push this image to my Docker Hub registry. So in order to push this image, first of all, you need to uh, log in with your Docker ID into your uh, Docker terminal. Most probably you are already logged in, but if you are not, you can just uh, give this command, which is uh, sudo docker login. And if you want to log out, then you can just write log out here, right? So let's give this command, which is uh, sudo docker login, and then give your username here. I'm going to provide my username, and then you need to provide your uh, password. So let me quickly provide my password and then press enter, which is going to log me in the Docker. So you can see login succeeded, 
and now I can just push my images to my Docker Hub registry. So first thing we generally do in order to push the uh, image to the registry is we uh, just tag it. So we can give this command which is uh, docker and then tag and then the name of your image. My image name is hello. You can also take the image ID and then give the space and then give some tag to your uh, image. So right now because I want to push my uh, docker image to uh, this docker hub account and which has the username code bind i will just first of all write code bind here and then forward slash and then you can uh, give the name of your image i will uh, just leave it as hello and then you can give the tag of your image so i'm going to just uh, give the tag 1.0.0 so this tag is useful whenever you uh, want to just let's say keep working on your image and uh, you want to update the image and want to uh, just version your image uh, into multiple versions so you have the track of all these versions right so i'm going to just tag my image i'm going to press enter and then i will uh, once again uh, list all the images and now you can see I have this uh, image with the, this name and I have the tag 1.0.0, right? Now, once you do that, you are ready to push your image to the Docker registry. The command is very simple, sudo docker push and the name of your Docker file, which is codemind forward slash uh, hello. In my case, you also need to give the tag here, one. 0.0.0 and then you can just press enter which is going to push your image to your docker hub registry so just wait for some seconds and you can see it's pushed so i'm going to go to my uh, docker hub uh, web page and then refresh this web page and now i can see uh, this uh, image which is available here and also you will be able to see uh, that this image is a public image so it's not private so anybody on docker can see your image right also when you click on this image you will be able to see uh, more information about the image so, so here you can uh, give the little uh, description for your image and also you can even write the readme for your image uh, what it's doing and what's the purpose of this image right so here is the general information about the image you can also see uh, this tags uh, section where you will be able to see uh, the tags related to your image i only have one tag here and the size of uh, this image is around uh, 746 kilobyte right and also you can see how you can pull this image so you can just uh, pull this image using docker pull code bind forward slash hello and then you need to use this tag you can just copy this and then uh, pull this image also also you have the build section this is for the automation so if you are using github or uh, bitbucket uh, automation system then you can uh, directly push your image from the github or bitbucket into your docker registry you also have the collaborator tab and then web hooks also and then you have the settings related to your docker image right so you can make it private if you want and also you can delete your image from this section right so let's say i just want to pull this image i will just copy this text and then I will just uh, write sudo and then paste uh, this test text uh, which I've copied which is uh, docker pull and the name of my image with the tag and it's going to pull this image if it's already not there on your operating system. So this was the simple demonstration using which you can uh, create your images and then push your images to the docker hub and then manage your images using the docker hub so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video